Project Impact has helped me um, see the different places in Quebec. So having the opportunity to do field trips like this and also getting to learn about other places in the area um, I think has broadened my perspective. Coming to places like these, uh, this United Church and visiting um, different places like this in Little Burgundy helps with the education behind what actually happened in history because we're not taught about much of it. I am ready to represent to say through this project and how it should like you should like show more of the English culture that has built my city. It can have a lot of hidden English history which we just don't know about. We went out on outings to go find and see uh, English locations and English sites in the Quebec region and we made posters and a passport to see what we found about the sites and it really helped us figure out what the English communities there were in Quebec. The Scala Farm is very important to for the tourism in our community because we get different people from all over the world in different bus tours and then it brings people into our region and into St. Paul's and also the different villages around us. So um, the Whiteley Museum is basically, it's mostly focused on the cod trap which is like, it was invented there and it's how they caught like the fish which was like most of how they made the money back then. What makes the Whiteley Museum important in St. Paul's River? For one thing, it's the only cultural center in the village, uh, and it, it embodies both the history and culture and heritage of the village of St. Paul's River, and also uh, it, can, it conjures up the life that took place on the islands traditionally. Project Impact is a heritage initiative that aims to empower youth and give them the sense of autonomy to learn more about their English-speaking community by researching different historic sites and also by being able to represent and champion their region of Quebec. This project will also be sharing uh, the heritage assignments that the students have completed with different tourism sites, community organizations, giving them a greater sense of purpose overall in this project. Is it fair to call film and write an American? He actually comes to Canada and swears allegiance to the crown. There's so much more gray, it's not black and white. He, think of this, in 1800, sends his three youngest children to Montreal to be educated, to learn English and French. And in my family, I'm a Wright family, from that time for 220 years, it's exactly how it's been transmitted through, throughout the entire family.